Look into her sad eyes, her life spinning round. Hey guys, how are you? Danny Well here. Um, so I officially moved to Nashville, as most of you know. Um, so far I'm loving it. It's awesome to be in Music City, and it really is Music City because I've seen, so far in the three months that I've been here, I've seen Taylor Swift, uh, Ben Folds, Sarah Bareilles, uh, oh, Isaac Hansen, who was like there my second day of uh, being natural. My new buddy, intern Adam from 107.5 The River, who is an amazing um, t uh, radio personality, and uh, he picked me to be part of the Nick Carter videos. She can see the beauty that I found. So much so I wrote it down. And this is my um, 20 seconds into the video, you'll see like some smoke and then some gloves came and kind of wave in the air. It's mine. Uh, but that was a great experience. I got to give uh, Nick Carter my first novel, Lost in You, which the Backstreet Boys were in the acknowledgments. And the boy band in the, in the book, um, Soundwave, were, were kind of loosely based on them, um, but also influenced by 90 Degrees. Um, I've worked with Nick Lachey in the past and Jeff Timmons too. Jeff Timmons was my favorite member of Many Tweets. It still is. Um, and I am so honored to have gotten to know him and um, really become friends with him. And uh, he's been so supportive of me as a writer, which is insane because I mean I've loved his music since I was you know 16, 15 years old. Um, and so I'm very excited to talk about the Dreamcatcher series. This is the proof copy. Um, Jeff Timmons actually wrote the forward to this, and he says some really nice things about me, which, uh, yeah, I'm blown away by. Um, but that's my favorite part of releasing this special edition. I'm not seeing it in hardcover. I mean, pretty damn cool. Look at that. I um, mean, I feel... I don't know, kind of established by doing this. It's available through my website, sandy-low.com, uh, for pre-order, which I will autograph copies and ship them with $35, um, which includes, for that price, you get Dreamcatchers, Breaking the Moon, um, Expressions, which was a series of vignettes that I released from the character's point of view of the Dreamcatcher series. So it's pretty cool. I got to explore more songwriting from the band Tortured. Um, so I, it was really fun as a writer to get to do all of that and um, really expand on Jordan's character and Haley's and see where they started, you know, as kind of young kids falling in love to, you know, becoming parents and experiencing life and difficulties and facing their demons from the past. Um, but anyway, uh, also what's cool about the Dreamcatcher series is you get a sneak peek of the novel I'm working on now, which is The Watchdog. Uh, way different from what I'm usually writing. I'm still in the very beginning stages of writing it, but um, the Watchdog is basically uh, about a troubled man uh, who is from Nashville, Tennessee, which is what inspired this move here, amongst other things. Come on, who doesn't want to live in Music City? Cowboy hats, cowboy boots, which you really don't see that much of in Nashville. I have to be honest. The reason why it's called the Watchdog is there is a ghost dog in the book. I know that sounds a little odd and maybe some left field for some people. I don't know how many of you believe in that kind of thing, but I'm I'm pretty spiritual in that aspect. And um the dog is based on my my dog growing up, Brownie, who I loved and I, I dream about her pretty often. So she's what inspired me to create this story. And um so the dog in the book is what um is what kind of brings the childhood memories for the main character Garrett um out and kind of really explore those deep emotions he has um, from his past. Anyway, I don't want to give too much away, I'm still not sure on all the details anyway, so but that's, that's kind of the gist. I'm excited about it, and um, I, but so far I've, I've kind of taken my time with it because I wanted to release this uh, hardcover special edition for the holiday season. Um, I wanted to uh, explore Nashville more as, you know, just living here before I kind of dove into another novel and um, 
can just promote my, my other books more before, you know, moving forward. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say hi and update everyone, and uh, I'm going to see Breaking Dawn tonight at midnight, which is why I'm wearing this shirt. So, yeah, I'm a boy to sparkle. I'm uh, Team Edward, obviously, but uh, no, Jacob's cool, too. And, uh, yeah, so, so that's pretty much all that's going on. I'd love to hear from you guys, so keep, you know, checking out the website. I, uh, you know, I know some of you are Starshine readers as well, and um, as you know, I've, I've decided to end the magazine, but that does not mean I'm going to stop interviewing people. I have an interview with Howie Darrow from the Backstreet Boys, who we just released his solo album back to me, so um, I did it by email since he's been so busy and kind of out of the country most of the time, but uh, so I'm excited to get his answers back and post them on the site. Again, it's sandy-lo.com. Um, but yeah, I'll be posting things that, uh, now that the magazine is behind me, I can really focus on things that inspired me as a person and, and a writer, and so I'll be featuring a lot of my favorites, um, favorite movies, favorite, uh, artists, like the Backstreet Boys, 30 Seconds More, those, uh, as you guys know, I've been pretty vocal about them being inspirations for me, and, um, yeah, so I'm excited about it, uh. I'll keep you guys updated, and, and I keep getting invited to a lot of shows out here. I mean, there's, there's like live music out here. You can find it anywhere, you know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like I thought nothing could be better than New York as far as entertainment goes, but Nashville kind of uh, kicks it in the butt when it comes to just walking into any place and finding talent. So, gotta give you guys a thumbs up on that one. Anyway, uh, so. In case you're not following me on Twitter, please do. It's twitter.com backslash author Sandy Lowe. That's author Sandy Lowe, L-O. No W. You can remember that. Um, and friend, uh, like me on Facebook. That's facebook.com backslash author Sandy Lowe. That's all I have to say right now. And yeah, give me some comments. Talk to me soon and read my book. Go get Dreamcatchers the series. Again, it's available on my website. As well as it will be available on Lulu.com, Amazon.com eventually. Um, I probably will release it on Kindle eventually too, as you know, the whole series. That's why people who are into the whole e-reading thing, which I'm not for, uh, you know, will get the chance to read it too. And in case you didn't know, Lost in You is not only now available on all, you know, Amazon.com and usual. It's also available on BarnesandNoble.com, which is really exciting. Uh, my publisher, Lulu.com, has actually chosen Lost in You to be part of that um, based on its performance, and um, uh, that's pretty exciting. I mean, my first novel, I did not expect it to, you know, to go that far. I didn't know what it, what it was going to do, you know, and uh, I just pray that Dreamcatchers may just make it there because, you know, it's kind of my baby. It's my love. And, uh, well, anyway, that's all. I'm going to shut up now because you know I like to ramble. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Ellie, I miss you. Now you're gone. So please take my letter.